All right, I want to do a quick video review of the things that I didn't get to in class. For those of you that are new to this whole architectural analysis of built form thing. So when we talk about the drawings we make of buildings, it's important that we use abstraction to simplify our task. You might start by thinking of a building that is just a simple cube. Let's give it a gable so it's a little house, right? With a window over here and a door over here. Now, if you want to draw a quick sketch of a building like that, you could, when it's that simple, just draw the three-dimensional building. But oftentimes we have fairly complicated uh, multi-room, multi-story structures that won't easily simplify into a three-dimensional drawing or, or that are not easily encompassed in the act of three-dimensional drawing. So to make our lives easier, to make the task of visualization less cognitively heavy, what we do is we split the three-dimensional object into two-dimensional planes. And so when we talk about plan or planometric drawings, So, plan is the noun, planometric the adjective. In that case, what we're doing is we are looking down on the building and imagining that the roof is not there so that we can see the rooms inside. And so the planometric drawing of that little house would, you'd start by drawing the geometry, just like I talked about in class. So that's a rough square. You would draw a second set of lines to show the thickness of the walls. Then you would draw the door in the front, cutting through the walls and the door, or sorry, and the window in the side, cutting through uh, the side of there. That's the simplest sort of planometric view of that uh, house. Now, when I said use multiple line weights, the reason I said that is because if you if you draw this diagram, you've captured a rough idea of the outline of the house. But let's say now you draw the exact same diagram. Notice me cross my corners here. Exact same diagram with the finer lined pen or, or harder pencil that you drew before. There's the door. There's the window. I might even draw a little glass in the window if it's a more modern building. I might show a door panel swinging. Um, that's what you start to recognize in an architectural plan. Um, then with the darker pen, I can go back and outline just the heavy stuff, just the stuff you can't see through. And so just with that simple change in method, I'm able to show not just the physical length and width, but some hint as to the experience of being inside that building, because now I sense, oh, there is opacity here where these heavy lines are, and there is transparency where there is not. You can also go back in with pen colored pencil or, well, that's not dark enough, is it? You can also go back in with uh, tone, right? And bring that to life even more. That can be pen, uh, colored pencil, watercolor, if you really want to knock it out of the park. But um, you build those, those layers on top as you get good at the fundamental core diagram. So that's the plan or planimetric drawing. When I talk about an elevation, that's the front face of the building. So in the case of our building up here, I could see the face of the building looking at it this way, right? And I could also see the face of it looking at it this way. What I'm not going to try to do in an elevation is see multiple faces at the same time. Again, we're trying to simplify, make the easiest drawing we can. And so if I do the front view with the door, it's a triangle on top of a square with the door in it. So that's the front, right? Now let's do the side with my two pens. So for the side, it's a little harder. What happens to this sloping plane in elevation? Well, 
you don't really see it slow because it's sloping away from us in our view. And so instead, what we'll see is the rectangle of this wall with a rectangle on top of the sloped wall. This line here is farther away from us than this line here. But this particular view doesn't capture that difference. Uh, I will go ahead and put my window on here. I might even say, oh, it's sitting on the ground, right? And that's a much stronger elevation once I have a ground plane. Now, there's still a role for your fatter pencil uh, or, or for pen, and that is to emphasize the profile line of the building. So what I'll do if I'm doing a nice elevation drawing, even in diagram form, is I'll go ahead and hit the outline with my fat pencil or or sign pen, dark pen. All right, so I'm a little crooked here. Better? All right, so um, let's talk section. Now, section is the same sort of view as an elevation, but instead of drawing the elevation through, uh, sorry, the elevation of the face of the building, you're going to section, you're going to cut through the building. So the section, am I still on the page? Good. The section of the building is, it's as if you just took your, took your knife and you sliced right down through the building. It's the same view as the front in this case, if I cut the section through this way. Okay. So it's the same shape as the front, right? Like my triangle on top, my rectangle on the bottom, but because I am cutting through it, I'm going to show the thickness, just like I do on the plan. I'm going to show the thickness of the walls, the floor, and the ceiling. And so that's the section looking, you know, through the front of the building to where it would cut through somewhere in the middle. Um, let me do the section through the side of the building with two colors of pen, or two, two weights of pen. In that case, again, I'm going to find the geometry. So... I know I'm cutting through it. It's going to be a very kind of tall thing with the roof up here. Just doing the perimeter here, exaggerating it a bit. But then there's going to be uh, the thickness of the walls. So thickness of walls, thickness of floor, thickness of roof. And I just trace it out. And there is my section cut through it the long way. Sometimes a building will have a section that just goes straight through. And then we don't see this sort of weird dog leg. That's much more common. And so if I am drawing here, I still have my second way to pen. Look, I'm not too happy with this. This It's a little confusing as a diagram. But I can go back through and say, oh, no, this was the line I really meant. And then it goes out and the roof covers it. See how nice that is with that second way to pen? So you, you cut your section through um, the walls of the building. You show it in a vertical view. So the plan and the elevation and the section are all just vertical views. You could do a plan that didn't cut through and show the walls. You'd just call that a roof plan because it's higher up looking down at the very top. Um, that's sort of like the aerial view. But again... I'll go over these more later in the semester, um, but I wanted to give a quick kind of rundown of what each of those views are. Take the three-dimensional object, simplify it from the top down, that's your plan. When you do that, the, the convention is to show the walls, not just show the very top rooftop of it. Because often, a lot of the interest in the building is inside the building as well as outside. Uh, so we show the walls. Then uh, we want to show the front of the building or the side of the building. Those are our elevations. Then we want to show the section, and that's the cut through showing the vertical shape of the building. And you'll see a lot of drawings. So knowing that what you're seeing when you see the drawings on the screen are often one of these three things empowers you to really navigate the whole canon of the architectural uh, tradition and architectural history. Thanks.